Hiya! What is up guys? It is your friendly neighborhood kitty here. Welcome back! Today we are playing Without Escape. So I got an email from Steam telling me this game had been released. I don't remember adding it to my wish list, so I must have added it a long time ago. But it's finally been released! So this is sort of like a retro point and click sort of game. So uh, let's uh, jump in and see what we've got. I checked out the reviews. There's only been one review so far. They said it was nice. After an exhausting day in class, I came home and found nobody there. I didn't give it too much thought. My parents told me days ago that they were going to visit my grandparents. They live 200 miles from here, so my parents will probably stay there the whole weekend. The only thing I had for dinner was frozen lasagna. I don't like it very much, but all the shops were closed by the time I got home. So that's what I was stuck with. He could have gotten pizza. That's what I did tonight. Hmm. <laughs> After dinner, I decided to watch some TV in the living room. There wasn't anything interesting on, just political talk shows and movies from the 50s. That sounds awesome. Uh, I was really... The movies from the 50s, not the political talk shows. <laughs> I was really tired, so I just went to sleep earlier than usual. And when I woke up... Ah! What happened? Did I miss something? Who knows? It's really dark. I should turn on the lights. <laughs> Sorry, that... Just that was pretty stupid much better now. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on Has something why do I have two sets of slippers in one room? Hmm Okay, I guess I just click on things and investigate <gasps> who did this <laughs> a Picture of a landscape. I wonder why it's not straight. I don't know guys demons. That's the answer to everything. Let's check out these slippers. Just two pairs of slippers. They've been used a lot, but they're still in good condition. This does remind me of those old school games. Oh, I can't look in the mirror. Is it because I'm a demon? Yep, it's 2.45. I'd like to get back to bed, but I won't be able to sleep until I know what's going on. I think I missed something. Hmm. There are various clothes and sheets in the drawers. One of them is locked. Is this not my house? Why is it weird all of a sudden? Okay, let's look in here. The wardrobe's locked. I don't think there's anything there that I need now. Why would my own wardrobe be locked? Wait, what? Go back. Is this the room I just came from? Why is there blood coming from that photo? Um, I want to go back into the room though. Because, okay, I thought that was the way to get out, but... Uh, the bathroom is really dark. Looks like the bulb is blown. Right now, there's nothing I can do about it. Alright, okay. Let's go back and... Oh. It's just an ordinary picture. It's a photo near a mountain village I visited three years ago. Okay. Let's look at the bloody picture. <laughs> Get it? Bloody? I'm Australian. <laughs> um, that's odd. I haven't seen this picture before. It has a strange shape painted onto it. And it's stained with a red fluid. <laughs> uh yeah, because when I see red fluid dripping from the walls, I'm like, oh, this is obviously some sort of red fluid. It's not blood. That would be ridiculous. Uh, it's a strange shape painted on it. Yes, for some reason, when I gaze at it for more than a couple of seconds, it starts to give me a headache. Do you want to save your game? Um, okay. We've missed, we've, we've gone through a lot. We really don't want to lose the progress we've made. That's the room we came from. That's the room that's locked. So we can either go downstairs. I assume we can go downstairs. We can go downstairs, but let's check this room. It's locked. Uh, nothing going on with the chandelier. Let's head downstairs. This is a nice house. I don't like that. That is one thing I don't deal with. For some reason, I've noticed that Americans have basements a lot. That's not really a thing in Australia so much. Same with attics, and it freaks me the hell out because <laughs> you know that's where the demons are hiding. If you guys didn't know, I'm obsessed with watching those paranormal shows like My Paranormal Experience or Ghost Adventures or The Dead Files. And then I just scare myself to the point where, you know, like my dog sneezes and I'm like, she's possessed! The main water valve is inside, but the door's locked. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong over here. It's obvious that something happened while I was sleeping. But what? <laughs> I mean, call the police, dude. I just, I don't can't open this door. Feels like something's blocking it from the other side. Okay, these drawers are locked. Apparently 
everything. Oh, I have plates like these. I got them from Morocco um, <laughs> when I was visiting family. Uh, why is everything in your house locked, dude? Your parents must hate you. Uh, a pair of decorative plates and a vase filled with roses. I don't need to water them because they're made of plastic. Okay, dude. Um, that's locked as well. I'm trying to see. We can't go that way. So I guess that's the only door we can go through. It's freezing out here. I shouldn't stay out here too long. Don't want to catch a cold. I mean, if there's a demon in your house, this is the least of your worries. It's just a bucket with a mop and a little dirty water. <laughs> uh, here's the water heat. I can set it to whatever temperature I want, but it will take a while for the water to reach that temperature. Oh. Hmm. I guess we should remember this because I feel like we probably need to come back to this. 20 degrees Celsius. Oh, I'm glad this game is in a metric system. I understand. Trash can is full of garbage. I was supposed to empty yesterday, but it's still full. Well, maybe you shouldn't slack off. Uh, there are still some wet clothes inside the washing machine. I suppose I was supposed to hang them out, but yeah. So you're a slacker. Can I go? Okay, we can go here. Oh, oh, that, I didn't see that before. What's this grandfather? Uh, 245. Oh no, 345. <laughs> I thought it would match the one upstairs. I was going to be like, <gasps> but no, it doesn't. Never mind. Uh, the minute hand isn't the same place as before though. It's like it's pointing at something outside the clock now. Talk to the cockroaches. Code your first Pong game. Ugh, I've done that. <laughs> uh, are turtles actually slower than cheetahs? Hmm. Paranormal stuff is real. Help, I can't write. Fuck all this hate in this world. Well, that is a book title. So what is it pointing at? I can't... Oh, here we go. Among these books is a newspaper clipping that says Jonathan Lewis McConnor, hey was arrested for creating a public disturbance. He was shouting at the mark that the makers would arrive soon and they would wipe out mankind. After several days in jail, the 47-year-old male died for still unknown reasons. The coroners who performed the autopsy were stunned. Apparently the man was in perfect health. His body just stopped working. Well, must be paranormal. The article keeps on, but it just repeats the same thing with other words. I remember hearing about this case, but I don't understand why there's a newspaper article from 2003 among these books. It all seems quiet around here, but I'm going to keep investigating, just in case. Okay, well, we've checked the clock. Oh, okay, I thought you could check the bottom of the clock. It's pointing at something outside the clock. Well, I clicked on the bookcase, so I guess that's where it meant to lead us. Alright, let's check if there's... Oh! Uh, here's the TV remote control. It's not working, though, since it doesn't have any batteries. I assume I'll need to find batteries. I can use the phone to call for help. 911. <gasps> it's disconnected. Oh! Never around when you need them achievement. So I guess... Triple zero... Well, guess they're not Australian. Um, I think we need to find a phone number, I guess. Oh, can I redial? No. Alright, we're going to need to find a number. Let's just do that. And get out of here. Oh, you press that to get out of here. That's awkward. <laughs> okay, so... Hmm. So we need a light bulb, we need batteries for the remote control, we need to find the phone number, the water system outside is looking for a number, but we don't know what that number, it's too dark, the bulb seems, bulb seems to be blown out. Well everything's blown out then mate. Oh, the TV. I need a remote, of course I do. Let's go back. Hmm. That's still locked. Huh. Oh wait, can I go this way again? Because... No, okay. I thought there was... The main water valve is inside. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go up the stairs. So, surely I'm missing something? Oh, why is this door locked? I left it open. Oh. Wait, this isn't my bedroom. 
Uh, I clicked on that already, but can I... Oh! Can I click on... Oh, yes! The key to salvation lies within this number. 666-3498. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Whoops. 666-3948. <laughs> Three, nine, four, eight. What? No one's answering. Okay. Well, that bloody sucks. It's three, nine, four, eight, right? I'm going to double check. Oh. Three, four, nine, eight. Mother. Three, four, nine, eight. Three, four, nine, eight. Eight. Is that not what I did? What a strange noise. I better put it down. Well, obviously I can't use the phone to call for help, dude. Um, the clock's pointing at something. There's gonna be something else. Oh! Uh, oh, a key! We found a key! We got a small key! Uh, oh, oh, I have an inventory. One. Wait, what? Press one, but I can't... Well, <laughs> at least I know I have a key. How do I get into my inventory? It said to press one, right? Hmm. Go back upstairs. Um. Oh! Oh, the phone's ringing! Who would call at this hour? That's my main concern. Quick, go back downstairs. Eh. Eh. Oh! Can I redial though? Oh, wait. I can't redial. That's stupid. Never mind. <laughs> But there is a level. Someone left a level next to the phone. I mean, these demons sure are handy. Let's go back upstairs because... I think we need to use it for the weirdly... The weird painting. I don't know why I would need a level though. I would just do it myself, but sure. Uh, a lighter dropped to the floor from behind it. Still, the picture doesn't stay straight. What am I supposed to do with a lighter? Oh, 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 yes. Uh, at least now I can see some with the lighter. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. We're going to go through it slowly. The water's not running no matter how much I jiggle the faucet. So I need to get into the main water supply. The mirror is unusually clean. There's usually small splashes of toothpaste. Dude, you are nasty. Uh, the towel's wet. If someone used it recently, it wasn't me, because the demons took a quick shower. No biggie. Uh, there's stuff like hydrogen peroxide, soaps, and shampoos. Uh, okay. The light won't turn on no matter how much I flip the switch. Well, it seems someone forgot to flush the toilet. Ew. And now the water's not flowing inside that crap. It looks like there's something shining, but there's no way I'm going to put my hand in there. Oh, so there is something in the toilet. Is there a dead person in the bathtub? No, we're not going to find out. Fair enough. Let's check the sink one more time. All looks good. Now let's go into... There's another dark room, I think. This door is still locked. That's still locked. Let's head downstairs. There was another dark room, wasn't there? Um, oh, yes, it was here. There we go. Uh, at least with the lighter I can see something. Let's check these coats. This sweater is messy, and I should really just toss it, but I have an odd feeling it might be useful tonight. Okay. This is a jacket I wear when it gets below freezing. Since I can't go outside, it's no use to me now. There are several umbra umbrellas hanging here. We haven't used them lately because it's been a while since it rained. Um, what's this? That's the same thing. 
Is there anything else going on here? No. Oh! There's only junk inside the ball. Wait a second, there's also a key! Nice! Uh, this picture is a photo from a famous photographer. I have more important things to worry about right now than your art. This door's blocked. I can't explain why, but I knew this would happen. <laughs> I also knew this would happen. <laughs> uh, we've got two keys, so surely one of them... How do I... I can't get into my inventory. Seems this door's locked. These drawers are locked. Oh wait! In my room there was a locked drawer, right? It seems that the keys for the drawer. Inside below all the clothes there's a pack of batteries. Ooh! So we got the battery for the remote control! Look at us! Regular Nancy Drew! Let's, uh, I've put in one battery, but I still need one more. Pfft, damn it. <laughs> oh, so close. Uh, was pointing to that key. What else is there around here? I might go back outside in case something has changed. still don't know what to do with this so let's just go back for now um okay all right let's these drawers are locked can't do anything here can't unlock that can't unlock that that door's locked i've got two keys though what's the other key for um, yeah, I guess let's save our progress. Because we've actually made some! What about this door? Oh! Nice! Okay. This is... Oh, this is our bedroom. I still don't understand how the door got closed, but it doesn't look like anything's wrong over here. In fact, I feel safer in this part of the house. Maybe that's why he locked it. Is that a GameCube? <laughs> Nintendo Break... Clive. Cube. <laughs> this is my break cube. I can't play right now because there are no controllers around. Besides, I've got other things to worry about here in the middle of the night. Like, duh. Let's see if we can get in here. Why does everything have a lock on it? In these drawers there's a bunch of stuff including a pair of old pliers that I really should have put away rather than stuffing them in here. But now I think about it, they may come in handy. Cool. We've got pliers. Not sure what for. Here's my game collection, mostly break cube titles, but I also have some rad station 2 games. But right now isn't the time to be thinking about video games. Okay, it's the same for the top shelf. Is there anything over here? Anything down here? Can I use this computer? My PC stopped working because the power supply got fried. Too bad. I could have used it to call for help. Hmm. Don't know if we can fix it, but we've got pliers. But what would I use the pliers for? Oh, that's my rad station too. The optical drive broke, so I can't play it. Besides, it's not a good time. <laughs> it's always a good time to play your rad station too. Uh, okay. Oh, shoot. Oh! That was the same thing that's on the... Oh, shit. Sounds like someone's banging on the door from the inside, but nobody was there. <laughs> I feel a light, wispy breeze of air. Screw that. Let's go back in. Oh, really? The door locked. It looked like this symbol on it. Uh, yeah, fine. We'll save. That's the symbol that showed up on all the computers and whatnot. Okay, that door's locked. That door's locked. Let's go back in here. Pliers. Oh, maybe I can use the pliers to break open the water main? Damn it. What am I supposed to use the pliers for? Why you gotta be so hard? No, go back inside. Okay, let's go back into the room we were in because it kind of sucks that I can't see the inventory, so I kind of forget what I've got. But I think the old sweater, yes. I'll wrap my hand in this old sweater so I can get that shiny object. It wasn't pleasant, but it turns out it was actually a key. At least it was worth it. 
I hope. I'm not the only one who gets their- oh, I hope I'm not the only one who gets their hands in places like this. I'm sure plumbers do that all the time. Uh, at least now I can see with the light. Okay. Right. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go because we've got another key. Oh, I forgot this was locked. Okay, so I guess we've got a new key that doesn't open that door. And doesn't open that door. And that was just an ordinary picture. Okay. Oh! Uh, there isn't a handle grip because it broke a while ago, but now I can turn it on thanks to the pliers! Although it's a bit rusty, I managed to turn on the water. Um, well, let's go back in here. Do I need to do anything? Oh, did they just say, the water is running now, so there's nothing here to do. I'm going to go back into my room because I made a whole big deal about not being able to run water. The pipes made some weird noises, but at least the water's running. What the heck? A lockpick had gotten stuck and just came out of the faucet. Well, anything that comes out of a faucet should be useful. Oh. So does that mean I can open everything? No, okay. Don't need that now, I guess. Uh, I still can't open that door. Still can't open that door. That's blocked from the other side. Ooh. Oh, we're in the kitchen. I can't see anything through the window. Just darkness. Like my soul. Everything seems to be in order. I'm not hungry, but I'll still take a look around. Really. <laughs> Just be like, you know what? There's a demon in my house, but a snack first. There are plates and glasses. Nothing strange. Plates and glasses. Nothing strange. Plates and... Wait, what? Plates and glasses. Nothing strange. Well, can I grab a knife for protection? No. There's just burned food crumbs and greasy spatters on the oven. No, there's also another key. What the hell is it doing here? Hmm, so many keys. In weird places. Someone's playing a game with us. I'm moving my mouse really slowly because I don't want to miss anything. That will get me out. Can I check the fridge? Not much in the fridge, but it's got a really strong stink coming out of it. Should I open it? Okay, apparently not. Might be a dead person, but no. Oh, good. Oh, oh. No, that's just the fridge. So we've got another key. Which I would assume either opens this. Which I don't think we can open it because that's how you get out of the house. So, I think it might be for this room? Yes. Oh, it's an office. Fancy. Here are some invoices and other documents. This is my father's office. He's kind of old fashioned. You can tell that because of the furniture and paintings. <laughs> However, this room has its own charm. My father spends a lot of time in here, either writing or reading books. Okay, let's check all the drawers. The middle drawer is locked. And these drawers are completely empty. Let's check the world globe. It's kind of outdated. The Soviet Union's still there. Can I steal your money? Small change. Okay, we're going to scope the area very carefully. Psychology and medicine books. My father loves this stuff. My mother also likes them, but she doesn't read that much because she's usually tired when she gets home from work. And napping is more relaxing to her. Preach. <laughs> I'm going to have to agree with your mother. Uh, so they all seem to be the same thing, but we did miss that key last time. So I'm going to just click on everything to make sure there's nothing else there. Mm, painting. Uh, some romantic landscapes. My father likes to stare at them and contemplate those exotic and mysterious worlds. It sure fixes his character. Okay. Well, I mean, oh. Is that a cockroach? No, that's the reflection. Never mind. <laughs> uh, this piece of furniture's closed. I have no idea what's inside. Well, it's a letter desk, so I assume paperwork. Uh, more stuff. I'm going to click on these, though. Seems weird that we haven't found anything in here except for two locked. Just checking. Just checking thoroughly. Okay. Well guess we should leave oh what's that oh 
the birth of a prophet. This is jewelry box with flower details. It has a plaque that says the birth of the prophet. I know it's not nice to snoop around, but maybe there's something I could use tonight. I'll try to enter the code. Should I know the code? Is it one 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 one? Is it two 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 two? No, I don't know what it is. I think we need to find it. Maybe it's hidden in here? Oh, I don't see any numbers. Okay, that was an accident. Um, so I just remembered something. It said birth of a prophet on the, the thing in the dad's office. And then this newspaper article said that the makers were coming. So let's see again. Uh, Jonathan Lewis McConaughey was arrested for creating public disturbance. He was shouting that the makers would arrive soon and they would wipe out mankind. After se several days in jail, the 47-year-old male died for still unknown reasons. The coroners who performed the autopsy were stunned. Apparently the man was in perfect health. His body just stopped working. The article keeps on, but it just repeats the same thing with other words. Um, 2003. So if it was in 2003 and he was 47, hold on. So 2003 and he was 47, 1956? Or 1955? I think it's 1956. Let's go into the office and give it a try. Birth of the Prophet. I assume he's the Prophet. 1956? Oh, yes, we got a bat. Why would you put a battery in a locked case? <laughs> that seems stupid. <laughs> Although in my house, everyone's always fighting over batteries for controllers. I don't know why we. What the fuck? Just. Oh my god. <gasps> Hell no, that actually... Wait, what? What just happened? When I turned on the TV, it felt like something pulled me inside. But everything seems to be normal now. Why am I not more freaked out by that? <laughs> but it was like... Wait, so have I... What? Let's go back in here. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what? The actual... <laughs> now, that's going too far. That's one hell of a sick joke. It's got to be a joke. I can't believe this is happening to me. Wait, what? Can I investigate? That's someone's heart. Are my parents involved in this sort of shit? That would explain so much. Well, it wouldn't. I don't even know who my parents are in this game. Let's go out. I'm kind of... Whoa. It looks like the ground floor is filled with blood. That is horrible. Where does all this blood come from? And it smells really disgusting. Let's save our progress. Uh, I think it does, dude, because it's literally appeared everywhere. I was just answering the question. He said, does this picture have something to do with what's going on? Uh, it looks like a loudspeaker. What the hell is a speaker doing embedded in the wall? The wall looks like it's made of flesh. Wait a minute, there's a test tube inside the hole in the wall. Oh, nice, I got a test tube. Don't know why. Where we go? Oh, damn. Okay, I see what the warning was for. Um, the whole room is nauseating. What's that plunged in the wall? This looks like a torture chamber. Plunged in the wall? Are they, is he talking about that person? <laughs> Was the banging I heard before coming from this being? Oh, What's this? If the PC wasn't working before, I really doubt it will now. Just look at it. Looks like that's the picture of the thing again. The TV smashed and I just bought it. That's my, that's my main concern here. Like, oh, really dude? Hellfire's fine. But you fucked up my new TV. There's a bunch of speakers here. It looks like they're used to experiment with chemicals. What the hell is this room for? There's also a note that says to reunite, to, I assume, reunite your destiny, combine the same ass, <laughs> um, same ass out of, what? Then add hot water. It is required to be a specific temperature. 
the atomic number of ND. It's a little hard to read because it's full of stains. Anyway, I should take one of the beakers. But it says combine the same A something of blood. The same amount of blood and... Uh, not sure on that word. I want to say resin, but why would it be resin? Then add hot water. It's required to be a specific temperature. Ah, the thing outside. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's take a beaker. I need blood, though. Huh. It's so annoying that I don't... I think there's something wrong with the game. It only just came out, so maybe that's why my inventory is not working. But it does make things harder. There's a valve here. Unfortunately, it's stuck and I can't move it. Ugh. Totally me. <laughs> so weak. Oh, no, no. Let me out. Let's go into our dad's office. Bet you he was into... Aww. <laughs> it's me like, bet you he's into some effed up shite. Oh, it's filled with blood downstairs. Um... Oh, but I want to fill the test tube with blood. Let's go back in here. I like how this room is the only room that ain't so creepy. Except for, you know. Oh, I s actually, now that I think of it, I think we have to. Entire room, because we're obviously missing something. There's, there has to be... Oh, that was an accident, but yes. There's a pipe coming from the ceiling and going deep into the bottom of that hole. It's completely greased over. <gasps> I think I can pick up some of the grease with a test tube. Why does it look like blood? Okay. I think we can use it to loosen up this thing. Yes. What does that do, though? Makes a weird noise. I heard a noise. Oh, the blood's draining away. Okay, let's get out of here. What the fuck? Whoa. I actually thought my game was crashing for a second. <laughs> That's creepy. Uh, let's go downstairs, but okay, that's still locked. Whoa. It's hot as hell here. The bottom of the room is filled with lava. I'm not going to be able to stand this much longer. What is that? Is that a body? Those look like bodies hanged and packed inside trash bags. What kind of sick mind would think something like this one of them seems to be moving okay he keeps saying that this is a sick joke but honestly he's probably imagining it like if we think of it logically and this isn't like actually demonically possessed whatever and he's dreaming this up and he keeps saying what sort of sick person could think of this himself <laughs> dude this got really intense really quickly uh one of them seems to be moving which one is the moving one hey Oh, that's locked. Oh, there's another body. There's three. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. That's that thing that is missing. What the? Huh? There's a lot of clocks over here, although only two of them have hands. The one on the the top left says 10.05, and I can move its hand. I can't move its hands. The hands on the bottom right can be moved. However, I don't think I'm able to figure out the solution yet. Maybe it's 10.05. Did you think of that, mate? Oh, right, whoops. 10.05. Okay. Or not. Huh. If I want to do a ritual, I should put something here. I'm getting a panic attack just thinking about what could happen. Now is not the time to be panicking, my dude. Oh, wait. I didn't want to do that. Get back. Oh, what's this? There's a huge pipe set in the ceiling. Maybe it's where that blood came from. Hmm. There's an altar. It's also a big window, but I can't see anything through it. Oh, there's this room. I forgot. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty dark. Good thing I still have my lighter. There are stairs going down into some sort of basement. This house sure didn't have a basement before. Oh, no. What is this stuff? Uh, these planks might be dirty, but they also seem to be in good shape. I'll take one. All right. Oh, maybe I can use it to save one of the peoples. 
Uh, it's a rusty metallic door and heavily locked. Doesn't look like I can open it easily. There are broken wooden planks on either side of it as if someone tried to seal the entrance with them. And then something else tried to open the door by force. Okay, but I can't go into that room. Is there anything else here? Oh, what's this? There's something sticky dripping from a branch. Probably resin or something like that. I'm going to scrape off a little bit to put inside the beaker. I was right. It was resin. That is such a weird thing to randomly know, isn't it? Oh, that's obviously resin. <laughs> okay, let's go back upstairs. Uh, more upstairs. Um, what do I have? Oh, I have a plank of wood. Should I put it on the altar? <laughs> uh, maybe I use it to help it to people? No. 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 Can't do anything here yet. Can't do anything there yet. Let's go back upstairs. Can't use the plank of wood in there. But I want to go check the chemistry set. Um... To reunite your acidity, combine the same amount of blood and resin, then add hot water. It is required to be a specific temperature. The atomic number of ND. Shit, I don't even remember what the atomic number of ND is. Might have to actually Google that. It's a little hard to read because it's full of stains. Um, okay. Is it anyone's blood or specifically my blood? Uh, it's stuck and I can't move it, even though I just moved it? Alright, let's get out of here, because... I like how they have a red warning light. <laughs> just torture in progress. Okay, maybe it's in here. Why would I need a wooden plank? Oh, is it to get over here? Oh, now I can use the plank as a walkway and check the rest of this room. I don't want to, but I don't see an alternative. Ah. Wait. Oh, that looks like that thing that might fit in the door. A corpse packed inside a body bag. Maybe not. Submerged inside a blood-filled bathtub and also impaled by these metal bars. Can't say I'm surprised anymore. Maybe I can collect some of the blood in the beaker. Ah. Shall I mix them together? <laughs> uh, that's a heart, surely. Uh, what the hell? It looks like some sort of organ or something but I never saw anything like this it's huge and deformed but I got a feeling that I'm going to need it oh maybe that's to put on the altar I thought it was a heart let's keep checking because now that we can get across I don't want to miss anything yeah that just takes you back to the body bag uh, three cogs that looks weird. Uh, completely greased over. Okay. No. I guess we don't need to open that at all at any point. Oh, 245! Why did I not think of that? <laughs> Let's go downstairs. I think this needs to be 245. Two... If we go that way. Five? Seems like nothing happened. Hmm. It was 245, right? Let's put the heart on the altar. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. After placing the organ, a huge eye appeared in front of me. Makes me nervous to sound so close to it. What is this supposed to mean? What is this supposed to mean? I'm watching you? I don't know. What's the solution to the clock? 2.45. It's not 2.45. Hmm. Let's back out of here. Wait. What? What? Where am I? How do I get... Oh, there we go. Okay. That's where the water cooler used to be. That's still locked. Hmm. Oh, what? You couldn't stand the heat from the room any longer. You fainted and fell to the lava. Needless to say, you are dead. No! What? That is unfreaking believable. I went to pee <laughs> and I died. <laughs> I didn't think it actually meant that. I didn't hear any voices. 
Victor Gonzalez. Okay, so I have played back up to the point where we left off. I was wondering why we needed to save the game. So it makes sense that you can die. And when I died, it turns out there are six different endings. And apparently I got ending two of six. So let's continue where we left off. I believe... Oh, actually, I need to put the organ back on the altar, which turns into an eye. Now with this clock thing... Uh, I don't think I know the solution, but I've tried 245, which was upstairs. Maybe it's supposed to be like a mirror image? Like flip at 180. Eh. Wait, 180. Yeah. So should it be like four? Yeah, so like a mirror image. So four. Four. Five, four. Four. 35? No? Oh, wait. 4... 435, right? 455? Hmm. Maybe it's 455. I don't know. I just... 4... Oops. 55? Oh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Seems like nothing happened. I'm not sure what to do here, buddy. Let's go back upstairs. Before I pass out. I'm scared now. There's gotta be something. I've combined blood and resin. But, oh! The TV's turned on now. But it's just displaying geometric shapes. Hold on. Wait a minute. It's mirror image. Wait. Hold on. I'm going to go back to the clock. Because. Uh, it doesn't say I don't know the answer anymore. Maybe that's what it meant. Mirror image. I was doing it right. I just hadn't found the. 435? I was doing it right. Damn you. I heard something. Oh, it's an ear. And now what do I have to do with this ear? I don't know. I don't know what you got to do with the ear. Don't ask me questions. I still need something to put in there. That's still locked. Let's get out of here. Oh, listen. The ear. Oh, I wasn't listening. How many was that? Sounds like a clock bell's ringing. I should have listened to that. How many was it? One, two, three, four, five, five. Not sure when that will come in handy, but it's five. I'm gonna check that nothing's changed here. I feel like I need that thing. Not sure. Um, let's go back. Okay, so we've saved the game. Now, obviously that ringing has something to do with a clock, but all I can think of is this clock. Oh! The alarm buzz. What's strange is that it's set to go off at 12, but instead it went off at 2.45. Hold on. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 7. So, 7.45? The difference between? 7.45, I think. Or 2.45, but then there would need no reason for the 5. Or you could add it, 5, 6, 7, 7.45. I think it's 7.45, right? Well, let's try 7.45. I feel like it is. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I entered the right time, but I haven't heard anything. Oh! Oh, there's a key now! Oh, maybe it opens one of these doors. Oh, it won't open that door, of course. Oh, wait, what? I can come and go from the other dimension. 
Uh, however, the lights here were blown out after the stuff that happened when I turned the TV on, so it'll be difficult to move around. That is so weird. Well, the lights seem fine in this room. <laughs> Can't open the fridge anymore. Well, I couldn't open the fridge before. Huh. Oh, didn't it say the spell said I needed water of a certain temperature? Let's go back inside. Back inside, everyone. Oh, creepy. I'm not crazy enough to turn on the TV again. No shit, Sherlock. Um, yeah, that's the prophet guy. Uh, did you hear those footsteps? I heard that. I freaking heard that. Oh, I forgot. Bloody Americans. Maybe I should try calling that number again. It was 666. That's the only part I remember. <laughs> Wait, let's go back down for a second. I want to check this room. Hmm. There's things smashing around now. You heard that, right? Oh, no, I want to go back through here. Um, that takes me outside. Let's check what's going on upstairs. Actually, let's save. Okay. <laughs> My okay, my room's closed. Oh! Hidden in the corner, I feel like. Oh! <gasps> that looks like that thing that goes into the lock! Oh. Okay. I think we need to go back into the other realm. <laughs> the other realm. Uh, oh, there's a switch inside, but it's disabled. It's also wet. I have a feeling that someone disabled it recently. If only I got here sooner. Okay. Can I open that now? Apparently not. Psychology books. So there's a switch, but it's wet. Hmm. Let's go back into the other realm. Or maybe that's only part of the medallion. But let's head back in. Oh, wait. No, I want to check these drawers. I forgot. I can see that there's another piece of the medallion, but I don't think I can do anything with these two pieces separately. Yes. I think we actually need both of those. And use it. Wait, what? But it's got a slot to put something in. But I can't get into my inventory, which makes me feel like we're missing something. Hmm. Oh, water. Um, the atomic number of ND. I'm going to have to Google that. I haven't done science in so long. Atomic number of ND. Whoops. N ND. Nickel. Oh, neodium. 60. So... The water needs to be 60 degrees Celsius. I hope not Fahrenheit because then we're screwed. Okay, let's go in here. 60. Okay, count that down. Oh, I feel like we're close to ending this. I probably don't want to go through all six endings because I feel like you probably just die in different ways for most of them. I'm not sure. We'll see how we go with this one. Okay. All right. Oh, if you go outside, I think you get sick and die. <laughs> um, water. That's right. I think it's the right temperature to add to the beaker. This compound seems sticky. I should be able to use it to fix the medallion pieces. Hey, it turns out the medallion is the same shape as that bloody symbol. I don't know what it's meant for, but I bet it won't be pretty. I like how they said bloody symbol, and I assume it's because it's bloody, but to me it just sounds like someone Australian who's upset at something. Like, this bloody medallion. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All 
All right, back into the weird region. Ah, excellent. This is the kitchen. What the f hell is going on? This game looks really nice, I should add. Is this like a cult? Is this Scientology? Is this a game based on Scientology? Are they trying to turn me into a Scientologist? Um, in that sort of floating island, I can see the symbol from the picture and the TV! But where am I? Is the house floating out of nowhere? Whatever it is, that's what's causing all of this trouble. I need to find a way to get there. This whole wall collapsed. Oh wait, I'd missed that. I shouldn't get co closer if I don't want to fall. Hmm. So I need to find a way to get over there? This looks like table, part of the table and the chairs fell down. It's too dangerous to stay here. Okay, guys. After much, much searching, I found something. Check this out. Now, I thought there was nothing in the kitchen, but... Oh, there we go. That wasn't there before. Uh, here's a couple of dirty plates. Wait, there's a small switch under them. After pressing it, I heard some sort of metallic mechanism. I assume it's going to send like a, um... Uh, I guess roller coaster ride to us? <laughs> what? I can see that floating island here too, but oh, yeah, okay. So I flipped the switch, but it said it doesn't do anything. But I think we have to go to the other universe and press the switch as well. And then press it here. Oh. Huh. So flipping the switch on this side doesn't do anything. But it must have unlocked something. Oh, what about down here? I doubt it, but... Oh, looks like the door is unlocked now. Does this have to do with that switch in the kitchen? But it's pretty rusty and deteriorated. Not sure if I'd be able to get back once I go through it. Oh. No. I want to go save the game real quick. Just in case I die again. <laughs> uh, yes. Let's go back downstairs. Eh in here. I'm using my mouse, um, using my laptop for this. So I'm using my mouse pad because my regular mouse, oh, actually it seems to be working now. I lied. Um, okay. So I've saved it. So let's go through, I guess. You, whoa. Wow. This is huge. It's full of enormous fans. Besides causing a lot of noise, I wonder what they're for. I can't see the end of this big hallway either. I don't know what this place is, but it's difficult for me to breathe here. Uh, looks like it's turned off. Oh! Um, on top of it, there's a slot with the, the shape of that damn symbol. I'll try to put the medallion in the slot. The screen turned on. Among a lot of gibberish, I can read Danilio Nihil. 250, 212, 325, 387.5. I'm going to... I was going to say write this down, but I can't find a pen. I am going to take a photo of this. Ugh. Oh. 21st century people. Um, hold on. I'll take a photo of this. There we go. Huh. The fans have stopped blowing and now I can begin to see the end of this big hallway. Maybe the fans were filling the area with gas. After turning the pan... What the hell? Fresh air, finally! This is what I saw from the kitchen where the floating island is located. But what is this place? Why the hell am I supposed to be? I assume on here. There's a small, small platform on top of some rails with a lever in the middle. Maybe I can use this to get to the floating island. Dude, I swear this kid must have been on some sort of acid trip when he dreamed this. This is insane. I'm surrounded by all sorts of technology that I've never seen before. I told you it was Scientology. I also don't know how this island is floating in the air or what its purpose is. For now, I better be careful not to trip over all these cables. I thought that said celebs. Ooh! Ooh! I know what this is! Okay, hold on. This machine looks like an input device. From what I'm seeing, it allows me to change the amounts of power that are distributed to other machines. I have a photo. <laughs> okay. Uh, A is 250. Wait, how do you do that? Oh, it times it by 2. Oh, I can't go up to 250. There's two of them. That's times three and times two. Oh, this is a math puzzle. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh.
Okay, so we finally did it. Let's go in. As far as I can tell, I managed to turn this thing on by adjusting that machinery. It almost looks like some sort of teleportation device, but I have no idea what it does. Should I step inside? Well, it doesn't look like we have any other damn option, does it? Oh, can we go back and save? I'm going to say no. I want to see if we can go back and save. Just in case. Um, maybe I'm going the wrong way. This way? Oh, okay. I guess I can't go back. Ah, damn. Okay. So we have no choice. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, yes. Guess we're going in. Uh, as far as I can tell. Okay. Should I step inside? Yes. <gasps> Where am I? For some reason, I feel a little heavier. What's that over there? It looks like a huge metallic tower with some kind of machinery inside. You have finally arrived. What? Who said that? I and everything you are seeing and feeling. It is nothing more than a physical display of the inside of the Mesphige. M Mesphige? The Mesphige is completely exempt from space-time laws. What the hell is going on in this place? <laughs> What's going on? What is all this? What happened to my house and everyone? Why is there blood everywhere? Space-time continuum. But make sure they have an old-style torture chamber. Sounds a bit sus. All that you mention exists no more. Wait, is that the thing that's talking to me? What did you say? You look displeased. Where's everyone? Why does that worry you so much? <laughs> what? Why? I have parents and friends out there. My loved ones. Loved ones? I do not understand the meaning of those words. <laughs> the people I loved and I cared for. The people that are most important to me. Are you kidding me? Care? Are the beings of your species are important to you? You humans have an unusual way of thinking. You should be thankful for being chosen. Oh. Why was I chosen? Oh, oh! Oh, I thought that was a person in the corner over here, but it's not. Chosen? To become the new maker. What? This universe has fulfilled the amount of time that has been given to it. We, the makers, are the ones who create a new universe by destroying the previous one, which is the one you have inhabited up until now. Oh my god, guys. I've literally thought of this. <laughs> what if we are some sort of alien experiment and they're just like, we're bored with Earth now. Click. New planet, new people. Start again. It's like Big Brother Live 24-7. After putting, uh, after putting the whole population of this universe through a series of challenges with quite interesting results, I must say, World Wars, oh... I knew this was going to happen. Well, no, I didn't. I said this guy was on an acid trip. Who's to say he's not? But this theory is plausible. <laughs> you are the first one who has managed to pass all the tests. The destruction of the universe has already been completed. Now you must come with us. The universe has been destroyed. No, it can't be. This is a, a joke. Where the hell are we supposed to be? The universe is a small container of matter. We exist outside it. And here, neither matter nor anything else that someone of your species can know or feel can exist. You still have your physical appearance because you are inside the mass phage, which is able to exist in the absence of matter. Since you passed the test, you must become one with us and fulfill your duty as a maker. What is my duty exactly? <laughs> I can't believe all of this. What have we done to deserve screw you and all of your species or whatever the hell you are I was not expecting such hostile behavior <laughs> really <laughs> destroy my destroy my universe and you expect me to be calm what are you trying to achieve with all of this <laughs> it must be done and it is our duty a universe cannot be created out of nothing it is your duty to help us you do not have any other choice without your universe and without us you will cease to exist this is nuts. What am I supposed to do? What the hell am I going to do now? I don't want to live like this. 
uh, join them or reject their offer. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm a sort of like jump ship sort of person, so I'm going to join them. Okay. They said they destroyed the universe. What's left for us? We'll come back and try the other option. <laughs> As you wish then. I'm scared. I don't want to live in a nightmarish world for eternity, but I don't want to die either. I could join them for now and then we'll see. But destroying a universe to create others? It's damn crazy, I tell you. But if I become one of them, I guess I'll stop aching for what I've lost. I feel like I thought this through a little bit too much. You choose to accept your fate and walked over the bridge that rose before you. In time, you stopped feeling, remembering, suffering. You are now no longer human. The destruction of this world has given you life. <laughs> your existence will fuel the universe's never-ending cycle of creation and destruction. After the destruction of your own universe, you gave birth to a new reality. You gave birth to the new Big Bang. Dude. That reminds me of a movie I once watched. Surely, that reminds someone of a movie. But what is it called? Ah, oh, I'm gonna need to Google it. I swear it was a low-budget sci-fi movie. <laughs> and then someone's like, excuse me, it was a one billion dollar movie. <laughs> Pretty sure it was a low-budget. Okay, I'm going to play through again, get back to the place we were, and I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, we are back, so this time let's reject their offer. Never! as you wish then so this is the end everything's finished i i can't handle this i've lost all that i cared for and what's waiting for me is eternal nightmarish world i'd rather be with my family wherever they are you have chosen to jump to the void holy crap the new universe will follow its path without you as you fall you remember the happiest moments of your life a tear slides down your cheek jumped into the void okay i'm gonna end the video here guys thank you so much for joining me on this horror adventure <laughs> if you did like this video don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed yet maybe you should perhaps consider it as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video bye